Welcome back everyone to the second part of this episode. We're gonna get right into the coding, but before we do, I need to do my traditional begging for likes and subscribes. So if you like this type of content, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of it, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. But enough of that, let's get back to where we left off in the previous episode. Good luck. So now we can create a new level with only zeros. So how do we do to get all of these values into our level array right here? We do it by going into our load and save class. And we had one where we already read the file here, read from file. And uh, let's make a new method, public static void get level data. And we need a string name for the level we want to get. And we will also create a file to access it. We say level file equals res slash slash plus name plus dot t dot txt. And we make a check if level file exists then we can do something however if it doesn't exist then we can't retrieve anything we say system dot out dot print line and then we say file plus name plus does not exist And then we return. And it's actually not going to be a void. It should be something like int double D array return null. And if it does exist, we say array list integer list equals read from file. So we're going to use the same method up here, but we're going to pass well, first we need to import it of course and then we're going to take this and change it the void for to an array list instead and we need to pass in level file and here we say file file we can remove that file there and we say array list integer list E, let's initialize equals new array list. Oops, like so. And instead of text file, we do file. While scanner has a new file, we say list.add se.read. No, se.next int. So that should work and then we close it and also we return list. Then we get the list here and if that's the case then we have a array list but it's still not two dimensional. Instead of coding it here we actually going to create a helper class in the helps package called utils. And we will make a method here called public static, not a void int, because we want a 2D integer array return. But what should we call it? Array list to 2D int. Maybe. You can name it whatever you want, but at least now we see what it does in the name. And it takes in an array list integer type called list and then we need to make sure we know the size of the 2d array we call y size and int x size and then we say int new r equal new int 2d array and make sure we put the y in the y spot y size in the y spot and x size in the x size 
So now we know how big it's going to be. And now we need to get the values from the list into the two dimensional array. And we do that by looping through the new array. I think that's going to be the easiest. 0j is less than uh, new r dot length j plus plus for int i equals 0 i is less than new r j dot length i plus plus and here we need a bracket for int index equals j times y size plus i yeah, that should be right. And then we say list, nope, we say new r, j and i equals list.get index. So we get the list, we get the list, then we got the size in the y and in the x. Then we create a new integer array with this, the set sizes. And we loop through the j, and then we loop through the i, and then we get an index for it. Where in the list we should get the values to match the correct spot, and that looks all right. And then we return new r. That should work. And then we can go back to our load and save, and in here we should be able to call return right away, maybe. Return, yeah, let's call return uh, utils dot and uh, we pass in the list if it exists, of course. If it exists here, the list, and we know for certain that it's going to be 20 times 20 for now. Maybe we set the value somewhere else, so that should work. Now we should get the values. And uh, it looks like this should work. I'm not entirely sure. Could be some bugs, could be some offset in the lists, but uh, we'll never know if we don't try it. So we say load default level. And in here we do create new method. And here we remove this first. And here we say level equals load save dot read from file no get level data and we say new level because that's what we called it correct yes but we're going to change one thing in here from read from we don't want this to be public we want this to be private so we're using the same methods but we just change them up a little bit and make them private so we don't access them from anywhere else so Fingers crossed, let's uh, run this and see if it works. It did not. Why is that? And it didn't work because we had to change up this little bit. So instead of saying next int, we still need to go se dot next line. But that returns a string and our list is integer. So we say integer dot parse int. So it takes the sc.next line, which is a string, and passes it in as a integer. All right, so now when we fix that, let's see if it runs. It started, that's a good sign. And let's take a look at our level file here, just to see if we can, it's only zeros and zero use or is a grass tile, so if we, go to playing, then it should only be grass tiles. Ta-da! It works, perfect. So we can read from the file and add it as a level. Now we need to save it after we're done editing. And to do that, we will need a button. Let's just add one more button that says save. And after that, we should be able to edit it and save it and come back. So let's do that. And to do that, we need to add a new button to the game in the button bar that we added before, which is down here. Why do you start down there? I don't get it. Anyways, so we have a array for our tile buttons, but that's not the one. We want to use a 
B save. Let's call it B save for now. And we're going to place it right below it with a little bit of room. So B save equals new my button. Call it save. Uh, two pixels in 640, 600. So that starts 640. It's 30 high. So that's 672, 600 and. 80. 72 is exactly, but we're gonna go two pixels, so that's gonna be enough. I think that's gonna look good. All right, and we say b save dot draw g. Nothing special there. Draw buttons, mouse clicked. If it's not in the B menu, else if. So we have to do this for everything, for everyone I mean. Else if b save dot get bounce dot contains. We're gonna add the save level. We're just gonna call it save level for now. We're gonna take this line and copy it. Mouse moved. Else if b dot save set mouse over true and b save dot set mouse over false mouse pressed same here else if oh we had else if b save dot set mouse set mouse pressed true mouse released B save dot reset booleans. All right, I think that's gonna work. Let's just check if it works. The button is in the game. Mouse over, click, press. Yeah, that works. So now we wanna make something happen when we click it. So let's go back, you actually close this. And from here we say something like playing dot save level just call that function public void save level and in this method we call load save dot save level we don't have but we have something we can use probably write to file we can use but that's a private and uh, so do, 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 do. create level save to file read from file let's just do it public static void save level and here we pass in a string for the name and also should we pass in a one dimensional or two dimensional let's go with two dimensional uh, idr so we pass in the level itself and then take it from there and here we say save level we're gonna call it new level as the just one level so far, which is okay. And we pass in level. Save it. Should get no errors, correct? But in here we do need to create something like before. A level. And I think we can even take the same perfect, yeah. New level or uh, level five. Level file. And here we need to check first if it exists. If new level file exists, then we do something else. We So if it does exist, we do it. If it doesn't exist, we don't do it. But later on, we're gonna change the else bracket here to make a new level rather than to ignore it. So, but now we just say system.out.println file maybe i can use copy feels like i've written this a few times we do that and instead of return null we say return but if it does exist we write to file and call it or pass in level file but we don't have any one dimensional array we take in the two dimensional but we need to pass in a one dimensional 
and we go back to our utils class and instead of returning a 2d array we return a 1d array from a 2d from public static int 2d to 1d int r best name i can come up with but you can name it whatever you want to call it and we need of course a int to r and we don't need to pass in any y size or x size because we already know the size because it's in this array already but we need to create a one dimensional array one r equals new int and how do we get the size yeah we do it by 2 r dot length now we get the j times 2 r and the first index dot length so now we get the size of the new one and do, 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 we might just copy this entire one and say something like 2r looping through it j we need the index which is like so and the 1r index equals 2r j and of course i and that should do it now we just need to return one r i think this is gonna work we'll see but uh, this one worked without problems and this should also work without any problems so let's go back to our load and save and see what we are missing here we say load nope utils dot 2d to 1 id int r and call id r so that should work i think we can try and run it and uh, should work like before it's just grass let's pl place some water in the middle save it but i think we're gonna have an error because the one thing i overlooked no maybe not so let's try it again how about that now we can edit the levels and we can save them perfect this is just what we want and of course we can build upon this we can add more buttons maybe we want to custom names for our levels maybe we want a different levels load and save different ones but none of that is going to be possible unless we have done these steps we have done in this episode which is to read load and also create the level and it all works just like we want which is perfect good job and i think this is going to be it for this episode we've gotten uh, quite far with our editing but not quite done yet for example right now we're editing inside our play but uh, we should probably add a edit button here for editing and then we can build up as much as we want inside there and then when we click play we're in and we can actually play the game but uh, i think that's going to be for the next episode where we add the editing button and work our way from there so thanks for following along and there will of course be more episodes to come and if you like this type of content don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on any new episodes that are coming out but until the next time i hope you have a great day take care now and i'll see you in the next episode bye